a potential significant development in the standoff with Syria over chemical weapons. There are reports coming out right now that Syria is accepting Russia's offer to put chemical weapons under international control. That is according to Syria's foreign minister. The weapons would later be destroyed. President Obama has suggested that a deal could avert airstrikes. The president is set to address the nation tonight, where he is expected to make the case for a military strike. A new CBS News New York Times poll finds that 69 percent of Americans say the president should not proceed with strikes on Syria if Congress says no. Only 25 percent say that he should. Among the Democrats, 64 percent are against military action without congressional backing. That number jumps to 74 percent among Republicans. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill right now and joins us. Nancy, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail, Nora, and Charlie. Well, members of Congress are very intrigued by this idea of Syria handing over its chemical weapons. They're skeptical, but they're intrigued. They see it as a way out of a risky and unpopular military endeavor. And there were some senators who said to us yesterday, look, this is a sign that just the threat of a military strike is working. All the more reason for members of Congress to vote yes on this resolution to strike. But so far, most of their colleagues don't appear to be listening. Listening to them. Take a look at the latest numbers. As of yesterday, there was one senator who told us they were going to vote yes. There were six senators who said they were going to vote no, and one of those was originally a yes who changed their vote. So as it stands this morning, there are 23 senators in the yes column, 23 in the no column. It's tied. Now, the original plan was for the Senate to vote tomorrow, but Senate Leader Harry Reid announced last night he is going to hold off on scheduling that vote. He wants to to see where things stand after Senate Republicans and Senate Democrats meet the president today for lunch, after they hear what he has to say on television tonight. And I think most members of Congress want to wait a day or two to see how this idea of Syria turning over its weapons turns out, because if it's possible for them to avoid this vote altogether, it's a very difficult vote, and they would welcome that for the most part.